now are moving on. Around 20 million people are now at risk of starving to death in four countries, and nearly 10 million of them are children. That's according to the United Nations. The countries on the brink are South Sudan, Nigeria, Somalia, and Yemen. And a key factor in each case, the toll of conflict. Our Washington correspondent, Daniel Winges, asked the Africa director at the International Monetary Fund, Abebe Selassie, for his assessment. It is very worrisome um, that we have famines, uh, you know, the threat of famine in northeast Nigeria, an actual famine uh, breaking out in places like uh, Sudan, South Sudan. I think in both cases, particularly so in uh, South Sudan, uh, the root cause, of course, is the conflict, the ongoing conflict, um, uh, which you know has made uh, provision of support for people that were affected uh, very difficult. Uh, so the underlying cause is what needs to be tackled, and which is you know the conflict really, um, and you know it's causing tremendous, tremendous dislocation. Uh, up to, you know, almost one million people have uh, gone into uh, Uganda. Uh, in search of uh, some stability, in search of uh, better conditions. Uh, it really is heart-wrenching. Uh, I, I think addressing the conflict would go a long way towards uh, getting you know, the support that people need uh, to cope with the drought, so the disruption to agriculture that's taking place to, to, you know, to, to be mended. And uh, I think that really is the primary uh, factor. Uh, and that would also allow for you know, uh, you know, more, uh, more support, uh, the economies to recover, uh, which is really in the medium to long term what's needed for, uh, for uh, better conditions. And Nigeria, though, uh, people are particularly worried about the potential for famine in, in parts of Nigeria. I, you know, I think, the, uh, again, uh, the conflict that's uh, triggered by the Boko Haram insurgency, I think, has been a big factor um, there. Uh, we understand that the government has made very good progress in pushing out uh, Boko Haram uh, in the fight against Boko Haram, so that's encouraging. And I think what's now needed is to get humanitarian support to those parts where uh, you know, the conflict had made uh, normal farming activities very difficult.